Hi, my name is Virginia Willis. I'm a chef and cookbook author. I'm here in the bowels of the stock room of Alabama Booksmith, surrounded by cases and cases and cases of signed books. And I'm here to sign my most recent book. It's Secrets of the Southern Table, a food lover's tour of the global south. For those of you that know my cookbooks, you know that I take great pride in my recipes and my recipe testing. And so you can guarantee that I have another group of recipes that I know that you're going to want to make. What's different about this book, and I'm very excited, is that there are over 225 photographs. I spent eight months and four seasons going to 11 states with my friend, award-winning photographer, Angie Mosier. We started in Texas, and there's a story about the Vietnamese shrimpers in Texas. We went Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia, and Florida. All the whole swath. And what's different about this book is that it's an emphasis on the global South. So when people think about fried chicken and cornbread and biscuits, that's what they think Southern food is. In this book, it also touches on the different cuisines and food ways of the South. For example, I'm in Birmingham. There have been Greeks working in the coal mines and steel mills in Birmingham since the 1800s. There have been Chinese in Mississippi working in the cotton fields since the 1800s. The South is the fastest growing area for Hispanics in the United States. So. To, to judge southern food as only fried chicken and biscuits would be like judging Italian food as only spaghetti and meatballs. In Secrets of the Southern Table, I have a balance of recipes that are traditional, old-fashioned southern cooking, as well as some of these new influences. This is actually one of my favorite things. So this is a shredded beef arepa. This is a recipe from Chef Liz Hernandez, who's a first-generation Venezuelan-American who has a restaurant at Sweet Auburn Market where Martin Luther King's family used to shop and the produce and proteins that she uses are from a fifth generation family farm in South Georgia, the largest organic farm in Georgia. So to me, that's what modern Southern cooking is. So if you want a signed copy, reach out to Alabama Booksmith and we'll be more than happy to send you one. Bon appetit, y'all.